Hello students, welcome back to my channel. Today, I am taking the class for class 6, Health and Diseases, right? We are starting with the exercise chapter. I hope you have already studied that is Health and Hygiene for class 6, right? As you know already, what is carrier? The important terms, an organism that carries the disease causing germs from one person to another is known as carrier. House flies are the carriers. Carrier, they are also known as vector. Health, a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. What is health? A state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. Hygiene, a practice of keeping the body and surroundings healthy and clean. Communicable diseases. Diseases that can spread from a diseased person to a healthy person through direct contact, air, water, food and carrier. They are the mode of spread of the diseases that by contact, by air and contaminated air, water. Contaminated air means air containing germs. Contaminated water means water containing germs. Same way food particles containing germs. Carriers means those uh, flies or the other um, organism that carry the germs. Non-communicable diseases that do not spread from a diseased person to a healthy person. They are also known as deficiency. These diseases are caused due to the deficiency of certain minerals, carbs, proteins, carbohydrates in their diet. Deficiency of the nutrition. Pathogen disease causing microorganisms like bacteria, fungi, protozoans, they are known as pathogens. I hope it is clear. Communicable diseases that is spread through contact, air, food or water, they can be caused by virus, bacteria, protozoans or the worms, for example, cold, flu, cholera, typhoid. Normally communicable diseases, they do not spread by contact, air, food or water. They malfunctioning of the organ, deficiency disease. Deficit means deficiency of important mineral nutrients in your body carbs protein minerals vitamins etc or allergy as diabetes goiter cancer allergy they are all non communicable some communicable diseases bacteria common cold easily aap logon ko jaldi ho jata hai common change of the season flu hai aids hai dengue hai chikungya they are very dengue chikungya now is very common cholera hai tuberculosis hai diarrhea typhoid ye bacterial disease Protozoans, malaria, amoebic acid, worms, round worm and tick worm, they call that diseases. Yeah, same thing, mode of distribution, direct contact. Now let us start with the exercises. Which one of the following can be caused by droplet infection? Droplet infection means infection by air, that is influenza. Which of the following is a communicable disease? Communicable disease is dengue. The following disease caused by bacteria, only cholera. The disease that spreads by the bite of female Anopheles mosquito is malaria. See here the following can be caused by droplet infection, influenza, communicable disease, dengue, caused by disease caused by bacteria, cholera. The disease that spreads by the bite of female Anopheles mosquito is malaria. High fever, headache, swelling and pain in joints are the symptoms of chikungunya. High fever, headache, swelling and pain in joints, they are the symptoms of chikungunya. Community hygiene includes placing dustbins in parks. Yes, the statement is true. When we place dustbins in the park, that um, increases your, means community hygiene is increased. Pneumonia is a non-communicable disease. For pneumonia is a communicable disease. Communi is a non no, it is a common its a statement is false. Pathogens can cause cancer and hypertension. No, pathogen is false. They cannot cause cancer and hypertension. They are the um, deficiency diseases. Cholera and typhoid can be caused by contaminated water and food. Yes, cholera and typhoid caused by contaminated water and food. High fever, headache and fall in blood platelets count are symptoms of dengue. Yes, they are the symptoms of dengue. Dengue is very common. Feeling that that's the communicable disease can be transmitted from one person to another by air and water. Dengue spreads by the bite of Aedes mosquito. 
Roundworm is a parasite in the intestine of man that causes disease. Cholera is a bacterial disease that occurs by infected water and food. Community hygiene is equally important along with the personal hygiene. Cold virus, dysentery, bacteria, malaria, protozoan. That is the plasmodium protozoan causes malaria. Roundworm parasite in the intestine. Name the following. Disease do not spread by contaminated air, water, food. They are non-communicable diseases. They are non-communicable diseases. A physical, mental and emotional state of well-being health. Organism like virus, bacteria and fungi that cause diseases, pathogens. Keeping the surroundings clean and healthy for people living in an area, community hygiene. A disease that infects the lungs and is caused by droplet infection, bacteria, pneumonia also, both it can be your answers. Right? Differences differentiate communicable and non communicable disease diseases which can spread from one person to another. They are communicable diseases. Non communicable diseases are those which cannot spread from one person to another. Communicable diseases the uh, they can be caused by virus, bacteria, or the worms. They can be caused by the communicable diseases. And non communicable they spread by contact air, food, water. They spread water, food that is spread. But they do not spread. They can be caused by virus, bacteria, protozoan or worms. They due to malfunctioning of organs, deficiency, disease, allergy. Examples, cold, flu, cholera. Examples, diabetes, goiter, cancer and allergy. Direct contact and droplet infection. Direct contact, the diseases which is spread through the direct contact, they are the communicable disease. Droplet infection, the diseases which is spread by air. They are known as droplet infection as by sneezing the cough spit of infected person bacteria and virus infected person sneeze coughs or spits then the droplets released in the air is full of germs that the when when an infected person sneezes sneezes coughs or spits the mist of droplets released in the air are full of germs and a healthy person can get disease by inhaling such inhaling but if he does not see that and contact by touching using the utensils, using the um, things of the persons, uh, using the, the, the infections from the diseased person to the healthy person. Then personal hygiene community. means personal cleanliness of the body, that is personal hygiene and community hygiene, they depends on the largest of the subject. See, personal hygiene, keeping the body clean, first being free of germs, maintaining healthy community practice. Community practice means drink green and filtered water, boiled water, keep eatables, eatables and drink properly covered, eat freshly cooked properly heated food, keep the garbage bin covered, dispose the garbage at proper places. Whereas community hygiene, community hygiene means waste water around the house flows in open drains. Flies and mosquitoes breed in the open water pool, so a person cannot keep good health for long. It is extremely important to maintain the basic community hygiene means provision for safe and purified drinking water. Public drains should be covered and open drains should be frequently sprinkled with disinfectants to prevent harmful insects. There should be a system of sewage pipes to collect waste water. There should be a proper disposable and treatment of the species. Cleaning of the manhole should be done regularly by the municipality. Garbage should be disposed of properly. That is and comes under community hygiene. One should cover the mouth while sneezing. One should cover the mouth while the sneezing so that when you sneeze, then the air droplets comes out there. They may contain the infection. When you put your mouth, then they are so restricted. They cannot infect the nearby air. Garbage and untreated sewage should not be discharged in the water because water used in their various processes, then that water will also get infected if untreated sewage should be discharged in the water. And those persons or the animal, those who utilize that water, they will also get it. One should always keep the food covered. If you will not keep the food covered, then it may get infected from the flies or the other thing or it caps in open they may be infected through the germs in the air also open drain should be sprayed with the insecticide open drain should be sprayed with the insecticide so that 
any insects in the open range with debris, they cannot come into the atmosphere and they can infect the healthy person. Name some important factors that maintain factors for maintaining good health. For the maintaining the good health, when the personal hygiene has to be there, clean filtered water should be there. We should always keep the edibles food cover, keep your body clean, free from germs, maintain healthy community practices. What is the mode of transmission of communicable disease? The mode of transmission of the communicable disease, they can be caused by the means the, the treated by the spread by contact. They may be by the air, water, contaminated food or the insects. They are transferred from the other. Droplet infection means droplet infection. Already I told you about the droplet infection. When we sneeze, cough or spit in the spit, the infected person is with bacteria and the viruses. When infected person sneezes, coughs or spits, the mist of droplets released in the air is full of them. Healthy person can get the virus in the air. Droplet infection means the air surrounding us, it is infected by air with the germs that is the droplet infection. When we get infection from the air, suppose we in the day, traffic jam mein jaise hum fasthe hain to jo harmful gases hoti hain unhi ke sath harmful germs aur bacteria hote hain other side mein person hai kisi ne sneeze kar diya to jo germs uske sneeze karne se jo uske nose se jo germs bahar niklenge wo nearby air spread karega aur jo healthy person usko inhale karega to wo bhi usse affected hoga hai na causal organ of the diarrhea flu and malaria causal agent of the diarrhea diarrhea is caused due to the as you know already that is a infected bacteria and the diarrhea is caused due to bacteria and uh, flu, malaria, malaria is caused by the bacterial infection. It is caused by the malaria parasite protozoan. Flu, it is the droplet infection through cough, sneeze or spit by the infected person. Person, malaria is caused by the uh, malaria, ho gaya, flu. And the diarrhea is caused by the malaria. Contaminated food and water. How you cause? Diarrhea is caused by contaminated food or water. Maybe bacteria, maybe virus. Dono hi chizhe haan. Diarrhea ke causal agent ho sakta hai. Bacteria bhi ho sakta hai. Virus bhi ho sakta hai. Flu contaminated bhi hai. Jo aapke sni se. Jo flu jo hota hai. Ya aapka dropback infection se hota hai. Sneeja spritzel se hota hai. Sardi jo se lagti hai. Malaria, malaria, parasite. Plasmodium is the causal agent of malaria. Two diseases that can cause by the infected food and water. Cholera hai, malaria, ye aapka, the infected food and water, aapka ye hai. Cholera hai, typhoid hai, cold hai, flu, ye sab aapke bai, cholera, tuberculosis, typhoid. Ye sare, cholera, tuberculosis, typhoid, diarrhea. They are all caused by the contaminated, infected food and water. Malaria and dengue spread. Malaria spreads by the malaria. It spreads by the uh, biting of the female Anopheles mosquito, malaria parasite, when it causes then the malaria spread and the dengue spreads through the female Aedes mosquito bites. It is the carrier. Iske in the germs, because its adi life cycle jo is me complete hoti hai iske stomach me or baki life cycle hamare blood ke RBCs me complete hoti hai. Malarial parasites caused by the female Anopheles and the dengue is caused by the female Aedes. It is caused. Name three diseases that can be caused by the infected. How does malaria give three preventions? The control of communicable disease means how can we control the common control of the communicable diseases which we have the personal hygiene and the community hygiene by which only we are able to control or the budget. First, personal and public hygiene, clean environment, destroying carriers of the diseases and by vaccination. They are the four, how can we control the communicable disease? Good personal and public hygiene, clean environment, destroying carriers of the disease and vaccination. These are the main prevention control measure. Three common viral diseases, as you know already, the common viral, common cold, flu, dengue, chikungunya, they are the just rare. What are the symptoms of the malaria? In the symptoms, high fever comes periodically in the malaria, the person gets sudden high fever with chills and sweating. And the fever subsides after some time. Matlab, 
अपने आप उतर जाता है और उसके गैप में चौबीस से अड़तालीस इसमें भी प्लाज्मोडियम की स्पीशीज होती हैं अलग अलग एक में 12 घंटे के बाद फीवर आता है एक में 24 घंटे के बाद आता है एक में 48 घंटे के बाद आता है एक में बहत्तर घंटे के बाद आता है और एक में अनियमित रूप से बुखार चढ़ता और उतरता है पर्सन गोज थ्रो कोल्ड स्टेज हॉट स्टेज एंड स्वेटिंग स्टेज पर्सन बिकम्स वीक एंड अनविक क्योंकि मलेरियन प्रसमेंट की जो लाइफ साइकिल है वो हमारे आर सेल्स में होती है आर सेल्स जो होते हैं वो डिस्ट्रॉय होते हैं मलेरियल पैरासाइट्स उससे जो है इसको ये इफेक्ट होता है थ्री गुम कम्युनिटी प्रैक्टिस फॉर ए हेल्थी कम्युनिटी प्रैक्टिस विच वी हैव थ्री कम्युनिटी प्रैक्टिस हियर सी देर शुड बी अ प्रोविजन फॉर सेफ एंड प्योरीफाइड ड्रिंकिंग वाटर पब्लिक ड्रेन शुड बी कवर्ड एंड ओपन ड्रेन शुड बी फ्रीक्वेंटली स्प्रिंगल विद द डिस इनफेक्टेड देर शुड बी सिस्टम ऑफ द सीवन पाइस टू कलेक्ट द वेस्ट वाटर वेस्ट वाटर फ्रॉम द होम एंड प्रॉपर डिस्पोजल ऑफ ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ सीवेज शुड बी देयर cleaning of the main hole should be done regularly they are the important things that how we are able to get okay now just see there again we are discussing the exercises of the, the next one more for your practices which one the following is not a congenital disease can you tell i, I think i'll tell you what are congenital diseases see congenital diseases see here congenital disease the diseases that are present from birth they are called congenital diseases what are congenital diseases the diseases that are present from birth are called congenital diseases they are caused due to genetic abnormality or under development of any organ some common congenital diseases color blindness thalassemia hemophilia what are acquired diseases diseases that develop after birth are called acquired diseases they can be further communicable and non communicable diseases can pass on by the infected person to a healthy person directly or indirectly cholera typhoid polio rabies non com diseases that are neither passed nor one person can to another person person by pathogens they are non com diabetes heart problem kidney disorder they cannot transfer from one person to another they are non communicable arthritis that is the disease of joint rheumatoid and osteoarthritis rheumatoid it is by swelling pain and stiffness in the joints especially the middle joints of the finger that may the be twisted osteoarthritis it is eventually degeneration of cartilage at the joints due to aging degeneration of cartilage at the joints due to aging hereditary injury that is marked by stiffness and pain in the extremities of the joints right cancer cancer is the uncontrolled growth of some abnormal cells in any body part that invades other normal tissues this is that cancer what is allergy allergy is unusual hypersensitivity of the body tissues to certain substances right okay now just go through it which of the following is not a congenital cholera is not a hemophilia color blindness thalassemia they are all congenital diseases which of the following is a communicable disease malaria allergy diabetes cancer no which of the following is not caused by worms thalassemia elephantiasis tuberculosis Ascariasis, it is caused by the. They are all caused by germs. Thalassemia, that is the congenital disease. Which of them is caused by a virus? Chickenpox is caused. They are bacterial diseases. It is caused by chicken. Which is caused by deficiency of vitamin D? Rickets. We have already studied. Now fill in the blank. The insects and animals that carry disease-causing germs, they are called vectors. Culex mosquito is the vector of the that causes filariasis. Culex mosquito is a vector that causes filariasis. Diseases that are not caused by pathogens are not infectious and they are called non-communicable diseases. They are called non-communicable diseases. A diet poor in protein during infancy and child results in condition Cauchy-Coeur disease. Diabetes mellitus is caused by inadequate secretion of insulin. That is the pancreas is your right answer at your level. Pancreas. Give two example of communicable diseases. Communicable diseases which are transmitted from one person to another. Example: cholera and thyroid. That is the contaminated food and water. High side congenital disease. I told you difference. Arthritis or should arthritis means joints in pain. Osteoarthritis that is due to the aging, loss of cartilage in the joints of the knee joints and in the spleen. Come on, my dear. Personal habits which are good. Let us say. Very very. It is caused by the deficiency of vitamin A. It is a wrong statement. Very, very is caused by the deficiency of vitamin B1. 
conjunctivitis disease spread by direct contact yes conjunctivitis disease spread by the statement is true and this is false cholera contaminated food and water yes the statement is true typhoid is an airborne infection no typhoid is a bacterial infection may be caused by the air malaria disease spread by the insect yes it is the insect that is the female anopheles mosquito statement is true i hope it is clear any doubt anywhere you can ask me in the comment section again we will meet in the next video with more exercises thank you